So we had uh, Ifan. Hi, so who are you? Hey, uh, so this is John from uh, Minix. And here we have Minix Neo Storage. Okay, so inside we have a built-in SSD. And then we have four ports. We have USB-C for power delivery, a HDMI supporting up to 4K at 30, and two USB 3.0, okay? So it's a hub plus including storage? Yeah, so we call this a multi-port SSD storage hub. Okay, so it's available with three storage capacities. Uh, inside this one, we have 240 GB, we have 120, and we have 480 GB SSD. And what's the price? And this is available to buy now. It retails for 100 euros uh, here in Germany. It's available worldwide. Uh, it's fully compatible with uh, the MacBook, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, and also with the upcoming release of iOS 13, it's fully compatible with the iPad Pro. Nice, does it work with Android devices too, or? Okay. Windows, it works on Windows, Compatibility right? is dependent on the operating system and the hardware. If your Windows laptop is equipped with a USB-C port that supports data, display, and power, it will be fully compatible with Minix and then Neo Storage. If you use it on your Windows, you would format it like an NTFS. Yes. And if you use it on a Mac, they have a different thing going on there, right? Well, these come uh, pre-formatted to XFAT, which is, supports both Windows and Mac. Nice. And what's the price on the 120 and the... Okay, so 120, this retails for 80 euro. As mentioned, 240 retails for 100 euro. And 480 retails for 130 euros. Nice. And let's, uh, if you can sit maybe over there. So here's a uh, connected right now uh, to this MacBook. And it's doing the HDMI and it's getting the power delivery at the same time, so you do full power delivery? Yeah, so it's charging my MacBook. Uh, you can see here we've got the storage. It's recognized on the Mac, and we can have the HDMI output to the screen, and you can plug in your USB accessories. So for example, you can connect your external hard drive, or if you wish to use a separate keyboard and mouse, everything can be connected. Uh, the Type-C is, is enabling a lot of different things, right? Uh, uh, you also have this, this is a different one over there? Uh, yeah, we, so we have a full range of uh, USB-C products. And they are... Uh, this is one that has also SD card slots and all kinds of other stuff. And uh, what's, what are you showing over there? Uh, because you're also famous for doing uh, Android TV boxes, yeah, right? Yeah, so how we built up the reputation is with the Android TV boxes. Oh, several years now. Yeah, since 2012, late 2012. Uh, so for this Christmas, we have two new boxes. We've got the Neo T5. Uh, yep. This is running Android TVOS uh, 9. This is fully Google certified uh, using Amlogic S905X2 CPU. We've got the micro SD card, one USB 3.0, one USB 2.0 audio jack, speedf, gigabit ethernet, and HDMI 4K at 60. Okay, this will be released at the end of this month, in late September. So you can also connect your analog uh, mini jack uh, speakers? Yeah, and this nice. comes with 2 GB RAM, 16 GB MMC. And what's the price? Uh, this one will retail for 85 euro. It's a very great price to get Android TV, right? Yeah. 4K 60? 4, 4K 60, uh, but I think what would be more uh, interesting for long-time Minex customers and fans is our upcoming Amlogic S9 22X. Okay, this will be released uh, most likely in November, so it'll be available in time for Christmas. Okay, so as mentioned, this is using Amlogic S9 22X CPU. It comes with official Dolby Audio and Dolby Vision support. It has 4 GB DDR4, 32 GB eMMC. This uh, 922X, what's the, is the ARM Cortex a? This is the quad core plus dual core. So it's a, a quad A57 yeah. and, and dual, dual 53. Yeah. 
exactly. It's very powerful. It's yeah. maybe the most powerful AM logic ever, right? This is the most powerful AM logic ever. Um, but also, this is a great CPU in terms of its codec support. Um, I've never seen so many uh, super speed USBs in an ARM device. We've got the three USB 3.0. We got the USB-C port for data transfer. Which is also super speed? Yeah. So there's four super speed ports. We've got the micro SD card reader, the two audios, HDMI, uh, 4K at 60, speed if, and gigabit ethernet. This is running Android 9 OS with uh, uh, the Minix launcher. So what's with the Minix launcher? What's latest what's happening with this? Can you use the remote? Let's try to check it out. Or is it connected to something? Is it the same there or different? Uh, it's different now. Okay. So uh, can you come back? Yeah, so and show the remote while you're using it in front here. But can I just yeah. say? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I so. can't show you much on this box because this is still in development oh, stage for the firmware. Part? No, but it's it, this box I brought is very basic inside, mm -hmm. so there's not a huge amount uh, yeah. to show past. The but uh, in in the in the Minix, um, you can see the the apps is much limited than. Uh, yeah, no problem. So so um, so you have an optimized UI for a TV box. Kind of market, right? Yeah. And this is your latest. Uh, no, remote? this is. Oh uh, wait. Uh, yeah. This is. Uh, this one's just for Windows. This one's for Android. Yeah. So how does it differ to have a Windows or an Android version of this? So this one has uh, the Android. Oh, so we got the backlit buttons. Yeah. And then we've got the shortcuts for Android OS. And, and an the multimedia buttons at the bottom. Cool. And then we've got a full QWERTY keyboard on the underneath. Wasn't that Minix one of the first companies to make really cool remotes with keyboards? Yeah. Famous for that, right? Yeah, back in 2012, we were one of the first. Um, and this one is our first for Android with the backlit buttons. So it will cost exactly the same as its predecessor, just with bigger? the added uh, backlit buttons. What's the price? Uh, this one will retail for 30 euros, but it's cheaper when it's bundled with one of our boxes. So it's included? Yeah. Um, right. Do you do any kind of, because I see so many uh, t uh, super speed uh, USB 3 ports and everything, do you do some kind of desktop productivity in these? Uh, do people use this for, for, for work? Or is it just for entertainment? Yeah, mainly just for entertainment. Um, so this one, when it's released in November, uh, the retail price will be 170 euros. Uh, as mentioned, pre-installed running Android 9, 4 GB DDR4, 32 GB MMC, and the latest Amlogic CPU. And I believe uh, this will be the only box with the official Dolby Vision support. So HDR, Dolby Vision, everything? Yeah. Cool. No problem. So it's all about uh, synchronizing to the right remote? There. Yeah, it's a pre-production, no problem. Yeah. yeah. Cool, and uh, do you sell a lot in Europe or? Yeah, Europe's our uh, yeah our biggest market, uh, primarily in the UK, Germany, Spain, and Italy. These are our, our four major markets, uh, followed by North America with Canada and the USA. So, is it on Amazon? All these yeah. places? Yeah, available on Amazon worldwide, uh, and through our distribution network uh, here in Germany. We're sold in Media Mart and Saturn, along with other electronic retailers here. And how's it going with the, this market, TV box? Yeah, the TV box is always evolving. Um, as shown by the rise of Android TV, rather than the traditional open Android OS. You couldn't run Android TV on that one too? Uh, no, because for Android TV, uh, it requires a different certification from Google, uh, which 
is only available for certain CPUs. What do you do for the App Store? Oh. The full Google App uh, Store. This one, the uh, Neo U22XJ. This comes pre-installed with the, uh, the App Store. Google Play. Yeah, and the, the T5, yeah. the Google Certified, this comes pre-installed with the Google Play Store, along with all of Google's apps. Nice. So what's here? Uh, is this um, an Intel Pentium Silver um, running a Windows? <coughs> it comes in this box right here. So what is okay. that one? There you have this and that. Okay. So, so what's the difference? So, so within the next six weeks, before mid-October, we're releasing two new Gemini Lake uh, mini PCs. Okay, we've got here the first. This one's using the Intel J5005 CPU. With lots of ports. Okay, so we've got the three USB 3.0, and we've got the Gigabit Ethernet, and triple display output. So mini DP, HDMI, and USB C, all That's supporting 4K 60. It's triple display output. Yeah, this is a full USB C port, so it supports data, display, and power transfer. So you can do display, display, display. Yeah. And gigabit Ethernet. All at the same time. And, uh, okay, and this comes pre-installed with Windows 10 Pro, and it retails for 300 euro. Nice. Okay, and then here, we have our second Intel Gemini Lake box. This one's using the N4100 CPU. Okay, it's also triple display output. We've got VGA, DP, and HDMI. The HDMI and DP support 4K at 60. We've got the Gigabit Ethernet, We've got two USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0. We've got the micro SD card and the audio jack. Okay, as you can tell, the difference between the two in their appearance, okay, that's because the J5 uh, is a fan design, while this one, the G4, this is a fanless design. So we've got the large X ventilation holes and then underneath that, we have another layer of meshing uh, to make sure this is dust resistant. Okay. Have you been selling many of these Windows Intel boxes? Yeah, these are our biggest selling products nowadays. So people use them for all kinds of stuff? Yeah, mainly for productivity. And we, uh, these are very popular within the digital signage market. Uh, many industrial use cases for these and we believe these two will be very popular once they're released in the coming month. Okay, so as mentioned, the J5 retails for 300 the G4, this one retails for 270 euros. Nice. Also, UK is your biggest market for this? No. No? No, in fact, uh, in Europe, Germany is our biggest market. All right, and yeah. digital signage? Yeah, this is, uh, we've seen the rise in the last three to four years uh, with these mini PCs being used for digital signage. And we have customers throughout the world using it for these cases. Uh, like in the digital signage market, uh, being fanless is, uh, is very important. So we believe the G4 will be a very popular choice for the digital signage market. And, uh... <clears throat> there we have another one connected, the dual display. I got one more. Nice. Which one is that? Um, yeah. Okay, this is... Um, this one won't be ready until the beginning of next year. So our E for it's kind of a sneak peek. Okay, this one is 100% focused on the digital signage and industrial market. So this one's using Whiskey Lake i3 uh, CPU. And you can see from the ports, we've got USB-C, HDMI, and DP, all supporting 4K at 60. 
So triple display output at the same time. We then have four USB 3.0. We have two gigabit ethernet. And then on the side, we have a COM port and the micro SD card and audio jack. Uh, you can see the ventilation across the sides to ensure this one can work 24 hours a day. And then, uh, just like the G4, we have the uh, M2 doors nice. on the bottom. So it's very convenient if you wish to insert an SSD or upgrade the SSD. Okay, the two Gemini Lakes, uh, they come pre-installed with 4 GB RAM and 64 GB eMMC. For the G4, the 4 GB RAM is fixed. You can only upgrade the SSD or only insert an SSD, sorry. With the J5, you can add and upgrade both the RAM and the SSD. Okay. Uh, this Whiskey Lake, this will come pre-installed with 4 GB RAM and 240 GB SSD. And uh, all three are running Windows 10 Pro. Okay. Uh, is there a price in this? Pricing is not available at the moment. Uh, this one will be released most likely in January and we will have pricing information available closer to the release date. Cool. So lots of stuff happening at Phoenix. Yeah, lots of new products for IFA. And 2020 is just going to be bigger than 2019, right? Yeah. So, yeah, we come here to IFA. We have the three new Windows mini PCs. We've got the two new Android uh, media hubs, along with uh, three to four new USB-C accessories. So it's a really busy time here at Minix, and we're hoping for an even stronger 2020. 